Do I actually doing this on life four? I can definitely see where VYHD is definitely taking advantage of uh, getting on sync with the timing of this warm up. Always good to watch uh, that kind of like get, get those muscles moving and then slowly and surely feel better, and then by the time you're at the first trick, you're fine. Pretty good warm-up on both sides. If you drink, if you if you drink alcohol, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, whatever. We also learned that Pluto Relinquish is a wild song to go ahead and pick. And it's working out in Anne's favor right now as Anne has about a three-point lead over by. The beginning is always very awkward to get into. And still ahead right now by about three points. And we are tied. Yo, you're going combo combo. Keep up the combo. Both players still sitting on a full combo. Both have lost their PFC for a while. By doing a good job of either tying it or keeping it within a few EX points of AM. Both players handling the slow section really good as we go ahead and now the full speed up to the whip relinquish with relinquish is in this one and get some miss. Still maintains that little bit of lead that he had. By still sitting on the full combo. Both players showing that they have the knowledge check on this ball. Handling the slowdown beautifully. Now we get into the stream section. And picks up another miss, which may find the lead. Ooh. And Vine takes it with a comeback. 11.59 to Ann's 1134. Tiny things that Ann could curl up in a ball and sleep in. Now we have a unit of measurement of how many ants tall is, is this object. <laughs> also, and we are having an all Pluto set. What is wrong with these two? Can we talk about how Vi has a 17 perfect PB on this? That's the other thing, wild. So this is clearly Vi's pick. And is plushy too. Two points ahead of Vi right now with the PFT. Vi pick up it up. A great along the way. Yes. All right, Ann picks up the first great, so now Vine has about a, well, we're tied. I, I stand corrected. One or two points between each other. We're going to hit the stop. And the speed up. Ann picks up a good and a great right there. Vi now sitting about a 40 EX point lead. Alright, so going to the slowdown section, we're going to speed it back up a little bit. Vi still sitting on that lead by about 50 points at this point. Let's see how the stop session goes.
both players, like like for Link, they're showing that they do have the knowledge check. Wow. Impressive from both of them handling that. Mike picked up some perfects at the end, but still clutches it out with a W. And gets the head mount like, yeah, no, no bad. Those gallops near the end are really hard to like find any slide. Um, no PSC, just a 99.5. So basically, this has more late drilling than a construction zone. Hilarious, as the graffiti girl is in a construction zone. Here we go. And by kicking up the stick, third off Marvel. But I think he's just not committing to some of those And that's okay, he's gonna dial it back in now. He's what you have to take advantage of and he's with. Time gets a little bit off. Still playing the full combo, but five timing is just a little bit better. Five is now in the lead by about 20 points. And now for a lot of double stepping. All right, still a 20 point difference between them. T Swift looking like he's kind of tightened up his timing a little bit on this one. Five still not letting go. Plus 68 over his. EXDB. This is a section where you can't really fall asleep because the patterning will absolutely punish you for that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna wake you up in just a little bit. This is, as I like to say, this is the break section. This is where you can kind of recover, get your bearings back, and save some of your stamina for what's about to come up. All right, bye. Actually, still sitting in the lead. However, T Swift has closed the gap a little bit, only down by plus or like a little bit around 10 points. Still a little bit less at times. Definitely winnable. Uh oh, T Swift picks up a good. Still sitting on the full combo. Five picks up some misses. That's kind of the insidious thing is if you get off even a little bit, that can happen to you. Oh yeah, it cascades. All right, here we go. Ooh. And T Swift with the full combo, but brings it back by, to only be down by eight points to buy who takes that one. T Swift really brought that back. Absolutely, good job on T Swift for kind of making up and kind of staying fast. Play this turn for the first time, you're gonna be very confused as to what to do. Oh yeah. There are multiple ways to go about it. So we'll see what they end up doing. Yes. Both players do have experience with this, so I assume that they All know right, what to do with the tech, go. but it'll be interesting to see how they execute it and if they handle it well. Now, a lot of this chart is also very good for main, too. You got All right, the both step. players you got the sitting on the PSC. She's personally down by about three points. Biden a little bit fast in his timing. With the random perfect that he is getting. T Swift. Oh, picked up, picked up a great amount of perfects right there. His MA up until that point was absolutely sharp. Kept yellow through that crossover. And Bide absolutely broke. Picked up a good. So T Swift is only down by 10 points now. And picks up his great and breaks his gold combo at about 275. Vice still maintaining his lead. Up by about 20 points. Gonna be very eagle-eyed to see how they approach the ending section here. Yes, we're about to hit those ending, the ending pattern that I've been talking about. We're gonna hit this freeze. All right, Vice ahead by about 50 points. Now it's about 70. Here we, we go. go to the pattern. They both opt to do uh, foot switching on the freeze. And T Swift kind of dro he drops it at the end, gets the first one. And Vide will go ahead and take it. 18-10 to T Swift, 17-27. Great combo. Five greats. Not a bad score.
it's just, man, that was a hard set, so. PFC did this. Probably. So, this is going to be a refresher. Here we go. Let's go. All right, and we are tied starting off. Uh, staying tied so far. Okay. Or about tied. Oh. You're a rock star. You're the only one they came to see. Okay. Not picking up a lot of perfects yet. Yeah, they're going to start increasing out of these 16th notes, get more and more prevalent in the chart. Right, not a lot to say. They've been pretty neck and neck, although PQ has pulled away about this moment by about, I'd say, 9 EX right now. Both players still sitting on that PFC. Tricky up, down, go coming up. Both of them handling it beautifully. Vi still keeping it within 12 EX. Bit of a mental reset here. Oh, and PQ picks up his first break. Five still sitting on the PSC. PQ is still holding on to that lead. His MA has been has done enough to make up for that grade. Five trailing a little bit slow out of that ending there. And PQ takes it. 1544, right. Vide with 1520. 44 and 20. And then a Konami officially adopted. And here we are. So there's your fun little wholesome story for the day. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started with Stray Cats. So we saw the, so we saw the difficult chart early on. So now we're going to go ahead and see what the expert is like. And as you saw, Ro and Rocco gave a pretty good description about it earlier on about how different this one is. A little more swingy. It's really, it's really easy to kind of drift on a timing as well. But both players absolutely crushing it. Wow, PQ picked up a miss right there, which is given by the lead by about 10 points. You got the step, you got the flow. Keep up. Now, that, this letter is pretty interesting because it's the same speed as the 12th notes at the original tempo. But then that root speed up happens. All right, Vi did pick up a break, but he is comfortably in the lead right now by about 18 EX. All right, so it's about 20 points. He keeps doing a really good job of his MA. But Vide just has just such a comfortable lead and is doing a good job of holding on to that. You can do no wrong. Vide definitely hanging on. You're on fire! Alright, here we go. So as we near towards the end of the song, there's not much, there's not much chance for a comeback left at this point. And now for Zed. Yes. Ah. Right, so this is P-Cube's last chance to catch back up. Vi just has to maintain. And he does it to take it over P-Cube and go to the card draw. 13.54, full combo. 13.25 from P-Cube. Pretty similar perfect count for both of them. Here we go, chat. Let's see how we do. Tear it up, y'all. Right ahead by two. Yeah. 
But it's, uh, it's still kind of tied. It's, always, it's just one point back and forth between the two. It's, this is, it's a 13 with like a, not a lot of damage. So it's just going to kind of come down to MA at this point. Both players still sitting on the TFC right now. Although PQ has, ma has managed to kind of get ahead right now by about three points. Managing the 16th burst pretty well. Six point lead. Alright, picking up a couple of perfect right there. Why are you in the gap for about six points? So five, let's see if you can go ahead and maintain the MA. So far, he's had a pretty deep MA now, but picking up his first perfect after about 50 traps. He's only ahead by about 10 points, but he keeps MA is still super consistent. Got a lot of foot switches. And we got a dual PFC. P Cube will take it. 1353 divides 1338. 15 point differential. Vide with 27 perfect. P Cube with 12.